welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be answering your biggest questions and sharing with you the best and fastest way to get more clients as a hairstylist. So stay tuned. because I'm gonna be answering the biggest question that I get asked everywhere from Instagram, here on YouTube, in my private Facebook groups. I get asked all the time, what is the best and fastest way to actually gain more clients as a hairstylist? And so in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down all of the right and the wrong ways of how to actually get more clients because I want you to have a crazy successful business and I know that this video is seriously going to help you. But before we jump in, if this is our first time hanging out, my name is Jamie Dana and I am seriously passionate about helping hairstylists not only have a successful business behind the chair, but also have a career they absolutely love. And so that's why I'm bringing you guys this video all about how to get more clients and grow your business as a hairstylist. So like I said, this is by far the biggest question that I get asked all the time and it's definitely a topic that I know so many hairstylists are struggling with. How to actually get more clients as a hairstylist. So if you're watching this video and maybe your business isn't in the place where you want it to be or maybe you're just starting out or maybe you've been doing this for a little while but you don't really have the clientele that you really want, stay watching because I'm gonna be sharing with you guys part of my journey and the wrong steps that I took when it came to building my clientele and what I learned along the way to make it the right and I believe the fastest way to actually grow your clientele as a hairstylist. So let's dive back into when Jamie Dana first became a hairstylist in 2010 and I'll be honest, Throughout my journey, I've actually built my clientele in two different ways. Now, the first way was what I would consider the wrong or the slower way of how to build a clientele. And the second way was what I would consider the right or the fastest way to build a clientele. So I'm gonna share with you guys a lot of my missteps, things that I wish that I wouldn't have done, the mistakes that I made and the things that really slowed me down when it came to building my clientele. And I'm also gonna share with you guys the right steps and so that you're not making the same mistakes that I made so that you can actually grow your clientele in a really fast, efficient, and honestly, the most fun way. So when I first started out in the industry in 2010, I started to grow my clientele the way that I thought you were supposed to, the traditional way. And maybe this is something that you learned in beauty school or maybe you're working at a salon and you've tried out some of these things. So some of the things that I tried were waiting for walk-ins, waiting for call-ins. Um, I would go around to local businesses and pass out my business card. Um, I tried things like Groupon where I would offer my services like extreme discounted to try to get in a lot of clients. Um, I would do things like I would discount my services. I sent out postcards. I honestly walked into Starbucks and told the girls that I would do their hair for free. I did all of the things. I tried all of the traditional marketing tactics to grow my business. I tried a referral program. I tried, um, you know, buy one, get one free, free haircut with color service. I mean, I literally have done it all. And the thing that I found when I did all of those traditional ways to grow your clientele was, yeah, I got a lot of clients, but I'll be honest, they weren't really good clients. And I gained a lot of one-off clients where maybe they would come in for the Groupon or the free service or the discount and then they would never show back up again. So I had a card box of all of my clients' cards and that box was getting really full and technically I should have a full clientele, but they weren't rebooking appointments and they weren't coming back for the full price services. They were just coming for the discount or just coming for the first time or whatever the case may be. So I wasn't actually fully building my clientele. Yeah, I was getting new clients, but they weren't ideal clients. They were clients that wanted a discount, clients that didn't respect me as a hairstylist. They didn't really trust my expertise. They would tell me how to blow dry their bangs or how to curl their hair or what formula I should be using on their hair. Not dream clients in the slightest. And so ultimately I realized that the kind of clients I was getting from these traditional marketing techniques and the ways that you're taught to grow your business as a hairstylist 
were not working. So after about two and a half years of trying to build my clientele on my own, trying to do all of the things you're told you should do, I was like, you know what? Let's actually try to take this online. So I had an Instagram account. It was just a personal account that I was using. And I was like, let me just kind of share some photos on Instagram, share some photos on Facebook, and maybe I'll start to get clients from it. And so I would share my work here and there. I didn't really know how to take good hair photos. I didn't really know what I was doing when it came to Instagram or Facebook or how to write captions. I mean, I was just doing what I saw other people doing. and. You know, I maybe got a little bit of traction, maybe some comments, mostly from my mom, um, but I didn't really get any new clients from it. And so I was like, okay, well that's not working, what I'm doing isn't working, and I mean my clientele was like steadily growing, but again, they weren't dream clients. They were clients that would come in for just like root touch-ups here and there, or you know, clients who would bring in their kids and their husbands and services that I really wasn't wanting to do. I was wanting to do more fun services, and at the time, balayage and ombres were becoming more of a thing, pastel colors, rainbow colors, that was becoming something that I wanted to do, but I was just getting all over colors. I wasn't even getting things like highlights where it was a little bit more expensive of a service. I was just getting random clients and again, they didn't really value my expertise. They didn't really trust me as the expert. They didn't really ask for anything fun. I wasn't really loving my job. And so I realized that I had to make a change. And maybe that's you watching this video right now. Like maybe you're just getting started out and maybe the kind of clients that you're getting aren't really ideal clients or maybe you're still in cosmetology school and you haven't even started yet and you're wondering how the heck am I gonna build the clientele and get new clients? Or maybe you've been doing hair for a while now and you're realizing that the clientele you built are not clients that you want. They're not dream clients. You're not doing services that you want and you're not really able to charge the prices that you feel like you're worth. Or maybe you're just not having a very steady clientele in the first place. Like you have clients, they come here and there, but maybe your story sounds a little bit like mine where you had a couple clients, but then all of a sudden they didn't really rebook or they would only come in for one time or you'd see them here and there, but they weren't really consistent. And if you're trying to build the clientele off of one-off clients or discounted clients, let me be the first to tell you that that is the wrong way to do it and it's the really slow way. And unfortunately, I had to learn that the hard way. Um, it took me about three years to build my clientele but like I said, they weren't dream clients and they weren't consistently booked. So by the end of three years of hustling and passing out my card and doing all the things that you're supposed to do, I had a clientele, but I wasn't really booked. And so, like I said, I would open up my card box and I had all these cards of random clients, but none of them were coming back to me. And it wasn't that my work wasn't good, it wasn't that at all. They were just not the right kind of clients. They were searching for discounts or searching for the next Groupon or, or buy one, get one free or whatever the case might be. And so ultimately I realized that this is the very wrong and slow way to build a clientele. So like I said, I jumped on Instagram and tried that for a while, but nothing was really driving traffic to my business. I wasn't actually getting new clients to reach out to me or even friends of mine, they weren't really calling to book an appointment. So I realized in 2014 what I was doing wrong. I realized that I wasn't actually using Instagram the way that it's meant to be used. I was just throwing up photos here and there, didn't really have a strategy, I didn't really post consistently, I didn't really take good hair photos, I didn't really know how to edit them, I didn't know to write captions or hashtags or how to actually get followers, like I had no idea what I was doing. And so in 2014, I decided to make a change, like I mentioned earlier, and that change was I decided to invest in learning how to use Instagram to actually get more clients. So I started by learning how to take good hair photos, learning how to set the lighting up and get a really clean background so that it would show off my work really well. I learned how to write captions that actually 
turned followers into clients or actually got people to follow me in the first place. So writing captions was something that I had no idea how to do before. I learned how to find hashtags that allowed people to find my page and actually start to follow me. At the time, there wasn't a thing like the algorithm. Instagram was still chronological, but I still had to learn how to experiment and figure out, okay, this kind of photo did well, but that kind of photo didn't, or this caption really resonated with people and I got a lot of engagement, but this caption didn't really do well. So even before the algorithm came into place, I learned that you had to experiment and you had to figure out what your audience wanted and what they didn't really want. Because regardless of the algorithm, your audience told you, hey, this is a good post or no, we don't like this post at all. And then once the algorithm came into place, having that knowledge of experimenting and learning what worked and what didn't really played into how my content did and how it was delivered in the algorithm. I learned to figure out who I was speaking to as a client on Instagram. And so because of that, not only was I speaking to current followers and turning them into actual clients, but I was attracting a lot more new followers who eventually became new clients. They were finding me because I had a very specific way that I spoke to them. I also had a very specific brand. I learned how to brand my Instagram from everything from my profile photo to my bio to uh, my Instagram photos, my captions, my color palette, all of that stuff. And of course, this is all before Instagram stories and Instagram story highlights and IGTV and even Instagram video. But learning how to use Instagram was the thing that completely exploded my business. I went from being kind of booked up here and there. I mean, like I said, I had a clientele, but they weren't dream clients. And I was booked about every week, but there would still be gaps in my schedule or clients would cancel. And there was times where I was not fully booked. And I went from that to being completely booked out to to three months in advance in a matter of six months. So can you imagine what that would feel like in right now, today, learning how to use Instagram and knowing in six months from now, you could be booked out two to three months in advance. Like that's mind blowing, right? But that's truly what happened to me. And I wasn't just booked out with those, again, random clients who would discount or one-off services or, you know, root touch up kind of clients. I was actually doing the kind of services that I love to do and I was really good at. So I was doing things like balayage and more expensive services like ombres and pastel colors and the things that I loved doing. I was actually able to charge the prices that I wanted to because these clients found me from the work that I had already done on other clients. So not only are they coming to me because they love what I specialize in and loved what I wanted to do more of, but they were actually bringing in my work as their inspiration photos. So of course, it was so much easier to make their dream hair a reality because it was the work that I was already doing. And so from all of this experimenting and doing things the slow way, I realized was it wasn't about just being on Instagram and posting photos here or there and throwing up hair photos and writing random captions and just throwing things up. I realized the difference of my growth in my business came down to me actually learning how to use Instagram in a way that was strategic and I had a plan and a step-by-step -step action. And so I wanted to walk you guys through kind of the big takeaways of what those lessons taught me and how I really went from kind of so, so booked and in six months being booked out two to three months in advance. So this is something that has taken me years to learn, but I wanted to share with you guys the eight biggest takeaways and biggest lessons I learned and the things that I felt like made the biggest difference when it came to actually using Instagram to get new clients. So lesson number one was you actually have to know who you're talking to and what you want to see. If you're just talking to everybody on Instagram, chances are you're not really going to relate to everybody. So knowing specifically who you were talking to, I knew exactly who the client was, what kind of services they wanted, and I knew how to create content that they actually wanted to see, which not only in turn led them to becoming actual clients of mine, but they engaged with my content by commenting, liking, responding to my stories, and really feeling like they got to know me because I was speaking directly to them. 
Lesson number two was I had to have really good photos, really good lighting, and really consistent editing. And so this was something that I experimented with. I figured out how to use a camera. I had a really good backdrop. I got really good natural lighting, and then also lighting with a softbox. And then I learned how to edit my photos so that they looked like the hair in real life. Because nothing's worse than when you take a photo and then all of a sudden, the hair looks nothing like it did in real life. And especially because I was doing color services, I had to make sure that the photo that I took and the photo that I posted on Instagram was exactly what it looked like in real life. And it was showing off my work the best way possible. Lesson number three was I realized that I had to have a really good Instagram page layout that was unique and attracted people to actually click the follow button. Because what I realized, if people weren't clicking the follow button, then chances are I was missing out on potential clients. And so getting people to first click the follow button was a huge thing. And a lot of times that comes from having a really good page layout with unique content that made me stand out from tons of other hairstylists in my area. The fourth lesson was I had to learn how to write really engaging captions that not only kept my audience coming back and commenting and liking and interacting with me, but also the type of comments that helped my audience and followers get to know, like, and trust me. Because captions are something that absolutely play a huge role into your business on Instagram. And unfortunately, if you're not writing the right captions or you're not sharing the right kind of content, your followers aren't gonna get to know you. They're not gonna get to like you or even to trust you as the expert. And captions are truly the thing that can convert a follower, especially a lurking follower who's watching all of your stuff, into an actual client. Number five was I actually had to learn how to convert those followers into clients. So not only things like captions, but showing up on my Instagram stories and creating content that again, they would want to see was so important of not even just getting new followers, but getting those followers who do follow me to become clients. Lesson number six was not just keeping the new followers there and turning them into clients, but actually getting new followers, right? And getting new people to find me. So things like hashtag, reaching out to people, I learned and experimented with some really cool ways that helped build my following and actually helped get a ton of new people to find my page organically without me having to do a ton of work. And that was something that was huge because my business was growing without me having to constantly be reaching out to people. And that is important too, but having people just naturally organically find you was incredible. Lesson number seven was I had to learn how to experiment and test things out. And then from those experiments, track to see what worked and what didn't work so that we could move forward with the things that worked and my audience loved, but then also ditch the things that didn't work. And I'll be honest, I had a lot of things that have failed and I still do this to this day. Things that don't go as well or don't get as many likes or you know you test something and it just didn't work out as well but in those things you'll find the things that your audience absolutely loves and the things that'll help you get to reach more people and lastly lesson number eight was putting it all together into a plan and strategy so that i could stay on top of everything and stay consistently showing up to my audience and providing value to them. And that's been the biggest thing, consistency. Showing up to my audience, constantly adding value, talking to those followers that I have, converting them into clients. And those are the biggest eight takeaways of things that I learned over the years of what really helped me explode from not booked, not busy, into booked out months in advance, charging high premium prices, making over a thousand dollars a day in the salon. All of those things led me to the place where I was. And I'll be honest, I actually stopped working five days a week, 10 hour days, and I went down to working three days a week, eight hour days, and I was actually making more money working less than I was when I was making five days a week, you know, 10 hour days. And it was because I was attracting the right clients, getting the right kind of services, being able to charge the prices that I want to. And I had clients that I absolutely loved doing services I loved and they would work around my schedule. And so that's how I was able to go down to three days a week and actually make more money than when I was working five days a week. So all of that has boiled down to years and years of figuring out and learning and experimenting and researching what has not only worked for my business, but for thousands of other hairstylists. And 
If you didn't know, I actually have an online program called Ohotgram where I share everything that I have learned over the years, all of my trials and errors, those failed posts, everything that you need to know as a hairstylist to actually get more clients and grow your business. And so I boiled it all down into an online program called Ohotgram that you can take at your own pace, at your own time, and it's really gonna walk you through step by step every single thing you need to know about Instagram as a hairstylist. So any questions that you might have as a hairstylist, like how does the algorithm work? Or how do I find lighting that actually shows off the hair well? Or how do I plan my feed to look really cohesive? Or how do I write captions that turn followers into actual clients? Every single thing is broken down into a seven module online program that you can take at your own time and really dive into learning how to step-by-step -step grow your business. Because I wanted there to be a resource and a step-by-step -step strategy so that you didn't have to figure this out all on your own like I did. That took me years to figure all of this out and I wanted to make it easier for you so that you don't have to have those failed attempts or mistakes like I did because I want you to be able to grow your business and get more clients in the best and fastest way. Because I truly believe that Instagram is by far the best way to grow your clientele as a hairstylist. And the reason why I believe that is not only what I shared with you today, but it's a really fun way to grow your clientele. You're not having to awkwardly pass out your card to random strangers or do things like Groupon or discount sites or offering you know freebies here and there and getting these weird random clients you're actually able to tailor exactly the type of client that you wanna have, do the kind of services that you want to do, create the schedule that you wanna have, charge the prices that you want to, all from something as fun as Instagram. So if you've watched this video and you feel like your journey is similar to mine or you might be going down the path that I went down of building your clientele in a really slow way or maybe you're just starting out and you're thinking, I don't wanna make those mistakes that Jamie made or maybe you've already done what I did and you made those mistakes, you don't have the clientele you love or it's been really slow going. Instagram is by far the best way to do this, and I would love to have you inside my online program, Oh Hot Gram. Now, if you're watching this, the doors to the program are actually closed right now. I'm gonna link the wait list down below because we're actually gonna be opening the doors in a couple weeks when we release this video, and depending on when you're watching this, maybe it'll be a couple months from now, we release it a couple times a year, but I want you to get on that wait list. If you feel like you have used Instagram and it hasn't really worked for you, or if you feel like you're in the same place that I was, you're wanting to get clients, but you're not really sure how to do that, or maybe just what you've been doing isn't really working, this program is designed specifically for you, and I wanna help you on your journey so that you can actually grow your clientele in a fun and fast way and start bringing in those dream clients because it truly is possible. In fact, not only have these techniques worked for me and my business, but they've worked for thousands of our other OHOT Graham students. Students like Bessie, who was a single mom and she was working and trying to get a clientele, but she wasn't really booked and she was barely making ends meet. And then she implemented what she learned inside of Oh Hot Gram and she's been able to turn around her business to the point where she was actually able to pay off debt, purchase a salon, and be able to buy herself her very own car. And she said to me that this program was a life changing program because she was able to break away from the bonds of not having money and just feeling broke all the time to be able to provide for her family and be able to purchase a car on her own. Things like that are truly what can happen when you start to use Instagram to actually grow your business in a way that's going to bring you the career and lifestyle that you love. And I know you might be thinking, I've tried that and it didn't work. And Chances are if you're using Instagram but you're not getting clients from it, you're probably missing something. And we've had tons of students come into the program feeling like, okay, I tried this, I've tried that, and this is their last ditch effort. And they've all said that this was by far the best decision and best investment that they could have made in their business because it helped their business do a complete 180 
And they're now not only having clients that they love, but really having that career that fits the lifestyle that they love. Being able to take off time early to be with their kids or not work Saturdays if they don't want to, or being able to make the money that they really feel like they deserve to make. And that's truly what can happen with Instagram. And if you can't tell, I'm super passionate about it. It's something that has changed my life and I wanna help it change yours too. So if you haven't already signed up for the Ohant Graham waitlist, go ahead and do so now. I have it linked down below and I'll be emailing you all the details when the doors open again. And like I said, we open the doors a couple times a year and on that waitlist page, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys when the doors are gonna be opening again because this isn't something that you're gonna to wanna to miss out on. It can truly change your career, especially if you're watching this video, I have a feeling that it's exactly what you need. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this YouTube video. And I hope that by me sharing a little bit of my story and my journey and the mistakes that I've made along the way that helped me grow my clientele the slow way will help you not make those same mistakes so that you can grow your clientele and get more clients the fast way. And as always, if you haven't already come to Instagram and said hi, send me a DM. I'd love to hear that you watched this video and I wanna hear your thoughts about it too. And lastly, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, go ahead and do so now. Every single week I share tons of videos just like this of either business advice or technique advice or hair color advice, everything that you as a hairstylist are gonna need to grow your business and actually have a thriving business behind the chair. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss anything. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I can't wait for you guys to learn more about oh Hot Gram. Make sure that you're signed up on the wait list below and I'll see you guys next time tomorrow won't you talk to me one night to find the answer won't you talk to me what makes this heartbeat faster